everyone. I just did homework with Sebastian. He had a math worksheet on probability. And we set up his new Crocs <laughs> set up because we had to take the little Croc charms off his winter pair that he wanted to keep and put them on to his new one. Plus, I'm letting him earn a new charm every day this week for doing homework so he had a new one. My thumbs are hurting from pushing them out. The, his old pair were lined with fleece and it's just so hard to get the charms in and out, especially out. But I am working on a, a packing order, like there's socks. I always get my little half size pencils. I've got some new packing cubes eyeliner. <laughs> I'm looking at activity books for Sebastian. We end up eating out a lot because it's difficult to buy everything you need to cook all the meals that you would want for, for people who have different tastes and not end up wasting food and having a ton to throw away at the end, which is so frustrating. So we will mostly be getting snack and lunch things and eating out breakfast and dinner most of the time. Sometimes we'll have leftovers, which is great. But yeah, so we'll have a lot of restaurant times is what I'm saying. So he's got fidgets coming, his little spinners. But I need to look for other things to keep enter entertained. Jax has his cell phone now, so I feel like I don't even need to do anything for him. I am eating this cereal that we got super cheap. It's so American. <laughs> I don't usually eat cereal. And especially this is so sweet, but I got it on clearance and it tastes fruity and it's like eating a muffin or something. And that's kind of hitting the spot. It's hitting the spot right now. Anyway, I worked on that at the coffee shop. Don't think I remembered to film anything. That was before the grocery store. And then put the groceries away, was working on this. And yeah, the day's just gone real fast crampy period just started but it waited it waited until i was clear for the trip and that's a good thing i'm gonna start braiding today and i was like well maybe i can start like after homework so we'll see if i'm feeling up for it i'm very crampy i could also do it instead of a bath but i I'm in the two weeks now before the trip, so it's a good time to start. So yeah, that's my update. Hello, it's really, really cold today. It's finally warmed up to about 50, but it was so cold this morning. Tomorrow, I think it's already gonna be like hot. <laughs> Virginia, if you don't have all four seasons in one week, then you start to wonder what's going on. <laughs>
<laughs> busy here. Anyway, it was a somewhat calm day, very tired. Did not sleep well at all. Was awake hours. <laughs> I got to sleep a little after midnight, but then 3 a.m. onward, which was 2 a.m. for my body, so I don't know why it was doing that. Yeah, I did not sleep well, but I made it through groceries. I've been working on what I need to order from Amazon, and I finished adding two squares to this only to try it on and see. I definitely only needed one. I should have done some measuring, but honestly, I wish I had a dress model. <laughs> the covered in dog hair now. But I just finished taking out one of the squares and I have not reattached this guy. So we'll see if I have any time before bed. Just depends on how easily Sebastian could get to sleep tonight. <clears throat> Tomorrow we start breeding. I have been suffering through this madness because I wanted it to be somewhat fresh. In about 13 days, we will actually be in California. So good enough, close enough, and we will start. And I will do my normal starting from the bottom up because that's just the most satisfying way. I can keep everything else up here and just drop down a row or two and work my way across and drop down another row and work my way across. <sighs> There's plenty of things I could also do. <clears throat> Lots of chores. I'll do laundry because I can take care of that off and on. I did do a load. It was just the stuff from the vomit episode. Not the vomited stuff, but the stuff we did in between, like while it was washing. And then when his clean, his normal stuff was clean, I just tossed that out into the hall. So that's all washed and not in the hall anymore. I have to actually finish a pearl bead sign for Sebastian's door so I can pack up all the pearl beads because when we start to travel we did use the dining room table as kind of like a staging area a lot of times so i'm gonna get that cleared out so maybe tomorrow i'll make myself do that and then also braid sometime in the next two weeks i have to go get flight attendant gifts snacks i'll go to the dollar stores for sure because i can get brand name stuff just in smaller sizes <clears throat> they have a lot of like individually wrapped candy bars that come in like a mini size and you'll get like four or five of them. So I'll get some goodies and some bags. I'll probably get goodies from somewhere else too. I'll we'll need to make a card. I usually like to have Sebastian make it. They really appreciate that. And last time you even got to sit in the pilot seat. So that was really fun. But... Yeah, it's bedtime. Sebastian's getting changed. And what? Show me your change purse. <laughs> Look cute. I think it's from the dollar store. Couch, then you open it up and that's your coins to donate to the elementary school. Well, every single one. Actually, every single one. You. We already donated. They're they're trying to make a story walk, so yeah. like signs that have like each line of the story and the picture, and you walk through and read it. I don't know if they're making one that you can change out. That would be cool. Yeah. Okay, good. Then they can change the story out. And they're yeah, trying we, to beautify their every, garden. They can every month. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, we donated as a family and our name will be on the sign. So that's nice. Let's see what else. While I was on my computer, I got an email from the school office saying they needed somebody for this Friday for the school lunch. And then they also need someone for the entire last week of school. I was like, oh, the last day of school is Sebastian's birthday. And I just thought it'd be fun to be there on the last day of school, like summer vibes. Like why not? I get to see all the happy kids just ready to party. It'll be absolutely insane. And it's also his birthday. 
So I was like, I'll sign up for the last day. It's Sebastian's birthday. Have fun. Did you actually tell him that? Yeah. I said, it's Sebastian's birthday. I think it would be fun to be there. Stop playing with it and put it in your change purse. Put it in your change purse. Do you know if you dropped a penny from the top of a skyscraper down onto a person, it would go straight through their skull? Like through the skull? Through the bone. Because it's going so fast. Like you dropped it from there and you felt how much it hurt. The higher you drop it, the more velocity it gets. So like it picks up speed and force. I accidentally dropped it from what? Yeah, don't do it again. The higher you drop it from, the more it'll hurt. Anyway, I said I will do um, the last day of school and I could probably do another day that week. We're going to wait and see if anybody volunteers because there's plenty of time. And I was like, and I could do Friday if you need me, is what I said. Usually when I say that, she's like, okay, I'll let you know if anybody signs up. But she's like, and if you can do Friday, that's great. So I'm signed up for Friday, but that's fine. I'm doing two Fridays in a row. It'll be my, yeah. this Friday. And then the next Friday is the Friday before spring break, which I was already signed up for, which is kind of funny because at the beginning of the year, I did a lot of Fridays and the security guard thought that I was always there on Friday. <laughs> I was like, no, it just worked out that way. It's just random. Anyway, I think that's all my updates. So I'm just gonna say goodnight because we need to read. Yeah, I yeah. have thousands of dollars you buy here. You do not, but. <laughs> do? You don't even have thousands of cents. Do. Do you have a dollar? Because that's a hundred cents. My hair's turning yes. back blonde, and I, I kind of like it because I haven't seen it in a while. Oh, right after the trip, we'll do fun color. <laughs> Just like I told you, he's so sweaty when he sleeps that I don't want his sweaty dyed hair on somebody else's bed. So as soon as we're back to your own bed, we get the knock. <laughs> you know it. You know it. We'll do it. We'll do fun Mom. color. <clears throat> what? Can I break? Two little stuffed animals and, and like Kirby. Kirby's too big. You can bring him to the beach because we're in the car. Boo! He's too big. Can I take you can bring else to play? somebody medium with you on the plane and somebody small in the suitcase. <laughs> Spoon will be crunched up in somewhere because I need her. She's usually crunched up in the suitcase. She's very floppy though, she compresses. <laughs> Babe, I can't control it. We're like limited to what you can squish under the seat in front of you on the airplane. Sorry. I can't hold it. They like you to be able to fit all of your stuff under the seat, whether you're holding it or not. They will probably let you hold a stuffed animal during takeoff, but everything you carry through security and stuff, they, they need to know that it can all fit in your one bag, okay? So not Kirby, he's so big. But I can just squish him in my backpack. You would have absolutely nothing else. No iPad, no oh, headphones, yeah. no snacks, yeah. no books. Oh, yeah. So we have to think about it, okay? We <laughs> have time, we have two weeks. All right, we're gonna say goodnight because they don't need to hear our trip planning. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, Wash your hands. <laughs>